And we're ready. Carlton kicking to the right with Madden doing the ruck work. Wins it but not out of the centre. Oh, Renshaw has cops a solid one. The ball spills free. Wide on the wing to O'Donnell. He pumps Essendon down towards half forward. Down towards Watson. Couldn't get a hand to it. Silvani gets a touch. Hand pass over the top. Further to Scholl. Locked close to the boundary line. Back to Ratton. Towards centre wing he goes. Towards Albert. O'Donnell had to stand his ground as Harvey heads for some safety. The boundary line in not so subtle fashion and a throw in almost down to centre wing. Been a great player Mark Harvey this year for Essen. He's got the job on Sporting in his 150th game. And some terrific umpiring early in the game. There were two or three very fierce physical clashes and the umpire let it go. There's a chance for Madden. He's got the football underneath. Be careful. You're going to be penalised. The risk is always there and Grenvold has the football for the Bombers. David Grenvold, forward of the wing, sweeps around onto the right foot, kicks it inside 50 metres. Silvani in front, couldn't take the mark, punched away. Gleeson's got it. Round the neck, is it? Yes. A little too high against Denham. And Adrian Gleeson at right half back for the Blues. He's on the 50 metre line. His kick will take it near the wing. High, no mark taken, punched away by the Bombers, forced it forward. Here's a chance now for O'Donnell again, a hand pass. A little bit of pressure there for Ola Renshaw. His kick across his body, punched away by Chris Du, off the ground by Hogg. Discipline play into the centre, the umpire falls over. Dulio's gone, Long got him beautifully. And the free kick will go to Michael Long from a perfect tackle. The advantage is with Essendon. They've forced the ball to half forward where McKay is there. His kick back near the centre, and the mark is taken by Chris Danaher. Coach Kevin Cheney said Chris Danaher was ready to eat a football. He's that hungry for it. Goes down towards the forward line. Salmon in front. Yes, play that mark, Sandy. It was a strong effort. Now they must be consistent and play that through the night. And it will get a touch more difficult too with a bit of dew falling with this weather. There's a good grab. Play that definitely. Hasn't always been on target this year. He's kicked 48 goals and 34 behinds. But here's the first set shot at goal for the night. Paul Salmon kicking from 43 metres. Looks pretty good. Confidence booster for Paul Salmon. And Essendon are away. Yes, and it's certainly exactly what a forward wants early in a final, early in any game, but more particularly in a final, to get your first grab and make that a goal. And particularly for Paul Salmon, who does tend to fluctuate a bit with his goal kicking, he's marking also a good mark and then a good finish, a good confidence booster, quite correct. An excellent kick by Salmon for the Bombers' first goal. Madden gets the tap out, looking for Bradley. Chance there for Scholl, couldn't get clear. Alvin got his foot to the ball and forced it wide. The sprint is on, Dulio collects the football, kicks it to full forward. Essendon get back, no mark taken, push out against Kernahan. And Anthony Danaher receives the free kick at fullback for the Bombers. Steve Kernahan not too happy, but Anthony Danaher kicks it out towards the wing. Marking contest, there was no contest. Somerville marked brilliantly in front of his face. Peter Somerville, centre wing. Addresses the ball in towards centre half forward. A good long kick. Kick it! Couldn't take the mark. Running onto it was Izzard, but Watson is there. Handball, Chris Danaher. Kick it. In trouble. Slick handball, Watson. Good hands by the Bombers. Chris Danaher, wide. Mark taken by Izzard. Essendon have started well. Izzard, about 80 possessions in the reserves last week. Made a meal of that, but Watson, the Carlton player, overran it. And Watson goes for goal. And the Essendon fans leap in the air. But Timmy, unfortunately, misses to the right-hand side. Watson, one behind. Salmon, one goal. Essendon lead by seven points. Silvani to bring it back into play. Essendon looking sharp early on. Ratton time to recover. Back to Silvani. He bounces his way through half back. A couple and he's almost down to the middle. Up to Spalding. Big Earl will be looking for a big 150th. Kernahan out in front. Well, it favoured him nicely, Sandy. The, the kick was, I think, intended to go straighter, but it kept drifting away. To his left, to the right of Kernahan, to the left of Sporting, which in fact left Anthony Danaher too far behind to contest. Puts him on a difficult angle, though. He needs two, Roscoe, to join a fairly elite club. 
the 500 club. And he's got a fairly unique looking football in his hands with the golden arches. Carlton having their first set shot. It's a flat looking kick, but it looks pretty good. He's got it. So Kernahan gets his 499th goal, and the Blues quickly answer. Well, Sam, it's interesting. We talked about Salmon needing some confidence early in the game. Well, Steve Kernahan's a little bit the same. They've kicked very similar scores for the year 48 34 to Salmon, 52 34 to Kernahan, and both have started off very well. So the bounce back in the centre favours Somerville. O'Donnell got his foot to it, but it rebounded. Chance for Grenville. He gets past. His kick goes high in the air. May favour Hills. He allows it to bounce. Put, put, puts himself under a little bit of pressure. Awkward handball for Wanganoon, but that champion young player made the most of it. Got it back to Hills. Hills kick up to the 50 metre line. The cage up high. Couldn't quite hang on to it. He's got the footy. Watson was the tackler and the umpire on this occasion gives Andrew McKay the benefit of the doubt and will bounce it in the air. What a jump that was. Got his hands on it, couldn't quite control it. Madden down, Gleeson missed it. Kick it looking for the hand pass. Hills and Watson combined. Watson with just that little bit of pace to get away from Madden. A left foot kick to full forward. Kick it! Absolutely exciting player, Derek Kickett. But as a free kick, it may have gone against Hogg, was it? And going to Buick, just as Kickett was getting back. Yes, Hogg with a job on uh, Buick, who's such a dangerous player around goals. Mackay has a job on Kickett. Two very important roles there. Well, Kickett would have been, had the left foot shot from that right forward pocket, which would have been to his advantage. Let's see what Buick can do. He's only about 10 metres out. He kicks for goal and he puts it through. Darren Buick kicks his first goal. Essendon get their second. The Bombers lead by seven points. Yes, and the player for Essendon who's been the spark. Here we see the free kick just quickly over the shoulder there. Hog at the back of the pack there, just impeding the run of Buick, who probably wouldn't have flown for that mark anyway. However, he gets the resulting goal. And the player I'm about to mention is Tim Watson, who set the forward line alight for Essendon. Sexton must tighten up there. One by Somerville. Scholl a chance to cut across and go up towards half forward. And it's effective. Now Heaver has an opportunity to go towards Kernahan. Kernahan, use of the body. Oh, he started well. Two to big Steve. And there is his 500th goal. 54th for the season. Yes, a more deserving play. Wouldn't find to reach that milestone. Good body work. Some will say that's pushing out unnecessarily. The ball was in five metres. And he also did the right thing. Had a chance to play on. There it is in the side. Made no doubt about it. One point the margin. Two goals to Kernahan. This time it's the Bombers through Danaher. Up towards half forward. It's goal for goal here at the MCG at the moment. Silvani tries to belt it away. Christo intercepts and Scholl. Back to Silvani again. Watson will see it over the line. Calthorpe has a job on Bradley. Denham is sort of shadowing Williams. Not tightly, but he's on him. O'Donnell. Gary has the job on Brown. On Essendon's 50-metre line, Madden in front. He tells... Uh, Salmon, but he was holding illegally. Madden from half back. Kicks towards centre wing. Now, Somerville will come over the top with a fist. Gains probably uh, 25 metres. Oliver Enshaw gets it away to O'Donnell. On the left foot, he can centre into half forward. Salmon damaging up one end, Kernahan at the other. He's called to play on. He does so. Up towards full forward. His target was Buick. Go Red Rover, they say. But it comes to Crystal. He's claimed. It spills free. It's tight. Sexton. Long. And eventually Hills. Close to the boundary line. Going to get a free kick. Too hard. Right on the boundary line.
Some real desperate stuff here from all players. And Hills, he controlled the foot. He just gets taken high by Christou. Well, he's going to try and bend this back. Bend it round. Unsuccessful. One behind. David Parkin on the phone. He's got some uh, trusty assistance there. Silvani goes short again. This time it's Christou. Can't have got a few players that uh, would be playing their first finals match. That Ange Christou would be one of them. Hannah's kick. Mark is taken by O'Donnell. The Blues have got ten players playing their first finals match. Watson couldn't take the mark. Justin Madden has had a few touches. He's kicked into the centre of the ground. Williams beaten for it. Kicked off the ground by Heaver. Taken now by Spalding. He's kicked a full forward. And there's the man that if Carlton are going to win, Ross, he's going to be the difference. Already had a terrific influence, hasn't he? Yes. Uh, the pressure on him is a bit like the pressure that North Melbourne had on Wayne Carey. Robbo, where he must be the focal point. As we see Bomber Thompson, who unfortunately isn't playing tonight, just for football's sake, he's such a marvellous player. Kernahan again breaking free. They've set that forward line up very well, the half forward area, and also the pockets have come right down the ground to allow Kernahan to be one out against Anthony Denneher. And the ball comes down as it has done so far. We'll give him a big chance to kick six or seven. He's kicking from 35 metres. It bends back. It bends all the way back. He's kicked three. thought that was going to miss a long way to the left but there must be just a little bit of breeze there that helped that ball get back for a goal. It's interesting uh, Robbo too he, when he kicks at goal Steve Kernahan often the ball does float a bit and it, it's, it looked as if certainly I was with you was going to go through the left hand point post but he does get that sort of effect with that kick not intentionally but it worked out quite the right way. Carlton leads by four points. Madden beaten. Scholl tries to take it away, so too does Madden. Scholl was held, and he'll get a free kick from the middle. Up towards half forward. Kernahan in front again. One hand. Danaher was there. Izard recalled to the seniors. He heads wide. Hills may get there just in time. And from half back, he hoists it up towards centre wing. Who was holding who? Bradley says, not me. And off he goes. Craig Bradley, one of the great runners. Christo gets it away. Carlton now leading by four points again. Go up towards Kernahan. Heaver's kick drifts in towards the pocket. The Brown is there and O'Donnell. And it is the latter who sees it over the line with the Gavin Wanganeen. Dustin Fletcher, one of the baby bombers. There I said because he's uh, immensely tall. But <laughs> he'd love to be out there tonight. One of their injuries. Kernahan doing the ruck work. Big man gets it out the back. Williams usually always very constructive. Free kick perhaps to Heber. Held while it's not in possession. And he'll take it just on 50. Played that pretty well, I thought. Uh, looked as though he's going to be tackled and didn't take possession of the ball. Smart player, Robbo. And has done very well since crossing from Melbourne. At the moment, they lead by four points. He kicks from 48 metres to drop punt. It's away to the left. One behind. And quite often in these sorts of games, two robots, players like Heaver, Scholl, Ratten, the so called lesser lights that step up and take a bit of pressure off the, the better known players and assist in winning the games, which they've done. And particularly since they beat uh, the Eagles in Perth, those sorts of players have really done very well. Well, there was a lot of discussion about how uh, inexperienced Essendon were, and it was co the comment was made that uh, a lot of the players that came into the side were older players. And Carlton, you mentioned Ross have got 10. Players playing yes. finals football for the first time. Correct. Bradley, one of their more experienced players, kicked that ball into the forward line. Out come the Bombers. Ezar, who I mentioned, had a lot of the football in the reserves, but his kick drops in short. The mark taken by Bradley. Craig Bradley, who is a very, very damaging player if allowed to run free. His kick goes towards centre half forward. Kernahan behind. Well done, Anthony Danaher. And probably in the finish, not such a good kick by Craig Bradley. Danaher has the football at centre half back. Gives the hand pass away. Running in support was Denham, who's playing on Greg Williams. His kick. Hannah in front. Can't mark. Somerville. Hills is there. Handball. Well done, Chris Danaher. Gets it onto his boot very, very quickly. But a good diving mark taken back there by Sexton for Carlton. Sexton from the back pocket. 
Drifts it to the outer wing. Strong mark. Taken by Earl Spalding. Good start by him. And now Hannah. Over the middle. Bradley saw it slip through his fingers. Essendon wanting the next goal. They trail at the moment by five points. Towards Long. Flicked away from him. Oliver Enshaw overruns it. Look at Long. Magnificent. Calthorpe. Deep into the attacking zone for the Bombers they go. But chopped off once again by Sexton in the last line of defence. He finds Ratton lurking across half-back. Who in turn heads to half forward. Dealer goes to ground. Spalding couldn't take it. Harvey comes wide. Denham sneaking away from Williams. Williams persists, but Denham gets his kick up to centre wing. And Olorenshaw with shot on the mark. Heads towards kick it territory on half forward. Oh, Mark McCurry a little enthusiastic. Ripped Christo off the ball when he didn't have it. And the ball should be greasy too, Sandy, with the Jew. Yes, that's uh, something new that these players are going to have to contend with being a night final. Denham again, I think in the end, was uh, quite happy to find the boundary line. But, uh, he's got the big job and he's started pretty well on uh, Diesel Williams, who can really tear a team apart, particularly with his handball. But it's early days yet. Very good boundary throw in, high in the air. Bradley trying to run onto it. Williams has got it. Can't get clear. Denham's handball. Chance for Scholl. Tries to shovel it to Gleeson. Gleeson in the back of the trip. And Gleeson will take the free kick on centre wing. Free kick so far. Six to Carlton. Six to Essendon. Gleeson to Williams. Been one of the leading possession getters in the game this year. He slipped as he took that kick, and Izard takes the mark. Goes wide, wants long. Had to contend with Hannah. Hannah has shepherded it out. This allows Long to get an effective kick up over the centre towards Somerville. Too much height for Hannah. It's amazing to think that the last time these two sides played in a final at the MCG was 1968. The grand final was won by the Blues. Here's kick it tucked in the pocket. On that occasion, couldn't produce the magic that we know he's capable of. Well, a shot like that can either be uh, all duck or no dinner, really, can't it? Yeah, <laughs> to quote a phrase. And on that occasion, the plate Robbo was empty. And Derry kick it goes hungry. Correct. For the moment, Silvani brings it back into play. Madden somehow was able to stretch forward but did so illegally going uh, a little too high on this man some of them towards salmon a ridley's a fly likes a leap this young man he does renowned high flyer before he came over from perth from claremont footy club this is his third season at essendon and todd really just played 16 games since the booing in 91, and that is his forte. Kicking from 40 metres. Oh, not good. Away to the left, another behind. The margin now is four points with under eight minutes remaining in this first quarter. And the Blues, their three goals kicked by Stephen Kernahan. So, uh, Kevin Shetty, oh. there's an ordinary kick in, but a good, brave effort there by Matthew Holt. No one doubts he, that's part of his game. He kicks it now in towards the centre of the ground. Up goes Spalding. Can't take the mark. He's got the football, though. A little handball for McKay. Then Brown. Then Williams. Back to Brown. Running nicely. That combination worked well. Short kick. Free kick. Well, Behind play. No. Umpire's calling play on. Players have stopped. Ezard has it. And he kicks it along the boundary line. A bumbling kick has taken over in the finish by O'Donnell. Appealing for the free kick, and he's going to get it. Williams not happy. He's indicating that uh, somewhere down the ground, he wasn't happy. And that's why the players stopped running, because the whistle was blown, and then the umpire called play on. O'Donnell's kick. Chris Du tried to punch it away. In goes Hogg again. Put his body in. Williams, a little handball into the path. 
of Ratton. Ratton gathers, has a look upfield, and then kicks it high in towards centre half forward. Marking contest, no, brilliant mark taken by Wanganeen. Wanganeen off to Harvey. Floating across half back, he goes back towards Somerville. Ridley charges at the football, but he runs into trouble. Williams over the top. Long the thought about sneaking away, but in the meantime, the whistle had sounded. Now, well, let's see what happened to Williams. He runs into a minor problem, but he's quite okay. Christo does the work. Ruck work. Kick it. Caught. Cry of ball goes up. Oh, and he's not pink. Carlton fans not happy. What did you think, Roscoe? Well, he had a chance to get rid of it, Sandy. And once you have that chance, you don't like to get rid of the footy. You've got to be pinged. You can't do so much. He's got to realise he can't. I mean, he is a mercurial player, but you can't go through traffic like that when there ain't a gap. Christo telling it how it was. Danaher from 52 metres is away to the right. Chris Danaher and out of bounds on the foot. Essendon have had 59 possessions to 55. Hogg's in trouble. He may pay dearly. Buick. The Red Rovers away, keeping it low. And sneaking it in for one behind. What a great tackle by Watson out Oof. there. Huh? Terrific start. That's the experience doing the right thing at the right time as you see Neil Danaher there in screen. Silvani short again to Shaw. We'll have to go over the top of Oloren Shaw. He does towards centre wing. A oh, fine mark taken by Grenville. Big job for Grenville on Alvin. To half forward he goes. Silvani got front spot. Buick could have been held. Almost thrown out to Williams by Bradley. But allowed to go on. This gives Hannah a bit of space. Hills gives chase, but he gets it away to the running Heaver. Brent Heaver, 70 metres out, steps into Canada. Oh, they're starting to look dangerous. Yes, and the move of the ball was fantastic there. Some of the efforts in the back line was very good. Williams spotted Hannah very quickly, who got away from Hills. And Heaver and Gleeson are doing very nicely interchanging on the ball with Chris Danaher trying to pick them up and Wanganeen in the back pocket. Kernahan has booted three. Gee, that's a fair kick. Now he's booted four, and that's their score. The Bombers are making a change too as Carlton moved further ahead, Roscoe. Yes, Hills comes off because it was Hannah, his man, who got away from the Williams delivery to set that up. As McCurry comes back on, here's Hannah out in his own. Hills is miles to the left of screen. You won't see him. Handball off to Heber, who ran hard away from Danaher. Good pass. Carlton 4 1, Essendon 2 goals 4. Goals for Essendon, Salmon and Buick. And for Carlton, Stephen Kernahan has kicked the four. Somerville couldn't do much. Williams tries to get it clear. Ezard is there. Taps it to his own advantage. Powell grab. Didn't have it. Goes after it again. Gives it away to Alvin. Good play by Carlton. Just persistence. Up to full forward. Kernahan, no. He can't mark it. All the crumbs were nearly gathered by Gleeson. And Anthony Danaher swoops on it. Gets it away to O'Donnell. O'Donnell 50 metres out. Kicks it further away. No. In short, Hannah takes the mark and plays on. Carlton just pushing it forward. In towards centre-half forward, Spalding. Well done, the spoil on Anthony Danaher. O'Donnell short and goes for the safety of the boundary line. Robert, the difficulty that Kevin Shetty will have if he wants to change Danaher from Kernahan is that he's got very, very little option other than if he brings, say, Watson up to centre-half back, Harvey back to full-back and puts Danaher down the forward line, but he's very limited in what he can do. The Blues pouring it on at the moment. Harvey doing the right work. Williams was held. He didn't have the football. He appeals, but to no avail. Wanganee from half-back. Goes wide, but Hannah's the only one there on centre wing. Mill Hannah, kick number four. Carlton doing the bulk of the attacking. Kernahan trying to spoil from behind. Here's uh, Spalding. Centering kick, Ezard is there. Didn't try and mark, it may prove costly. Shot at goal by Tim Powell, who's just come on, who's away for one behind. Well done by Sporting too. He didn't want to have a shot at goal. He knew that Powell or Heaver, it was initially, was running to the square. The ball just came back too far. There is Fraser Brown, Anthony Danner to bring the ball back into play. Must be think Jiminy Cricket. This is finals, isn't it? Now I remember. 
To the outer side at half back he goes. Grenville didn't have it. Somerville. Leg, but off he goes. Long tries to shrug the tackle. Can't quite, but does get a kick down towards centre wing. Christo leading Ridley. Big Angelo. Works it round his body. It's effective. Finds Bradley. Good mark by Bradley going back. He knew there was someone behind him, but he stood his ground, took the mark, and kicked it in towards full forward. Kernan couldn't get the mark. Here's a chance now for Dulio. Kick off the ground by Ezar. Not really all that effective. Powell grabbed it's and tackle. grabbed brilliantly. Ola Renshaw was the tackler. Denham and Ezar. Ezar into the set of the kick a little too high. Just centimetres. But there's Long brilliantly to Harvey. Harvey goes straight towards goal. Silvani and Salmon punched away by Silvani. Buick off the ground. It's a goal. Magnificent Buick. Absolutely unbelievable. Darren Buick gets Essendon's third goal. 3-4 plays 4-2. And Ricky Olerenshaw, your attack on the half-back line was just outstanding. You caused that turnover, as they say. The running from Harvey, very good. I thought Silvani did well here to just not allow Salmon to mark. But look at the pace of Buick. And he kicks those goals more often than not. Two goals to Buick. Again, the margin is four points. With a little over a minute remaining what's been a pretty exciting first quarter. Brown back on the ground. O'Donnell caught. There is Fraser Brown applying the tackle. Ball is held to. Silly Fraser Brown. Yes, very silly. He came on to replace Alvin. Well, he might have a visit uh, from the runner again shortly. Down towards uh, Essendon's half forward line. McKay came over the top. Kick it right on the boundary line. He went over, said the boundary umpire. <laughs> Looks as though Alvin is back on the ground. It could have been Diulio. But, uh, yeah, good call by the umpire. The ball is definitely out. Somerville and Manon. Hurried kick by Somerville down to centre half forward. But Bill Hanna does well. Had a pretty good start. Out in front of Christo he goes. Silvani running down there with Salmon. Christo. Away goes Ange on the outer side. Two bounces. He's got a heck down. Three bounces. Don't tell me he's going to kick a goal. Steady Ange. From 50 metres. It's high in towards full forward. Gleason's giving away centimetres. And eventually it's over the line for one behind. And Big Ange starts the long track back. And they're preparing us to run Carlton from half back then. It was three to one against Salmon. They're the options you need. As O'Donnell brings it back into play. Once Somerville, Spalding went with him. Shoulders well over the top to Williams. Time's ticking away. Carlton needs a mark. Not going to happen. And Alan Ezard marks on the side. It's quarter time. A thrilling first quarter. Carlton lead 4 3, 27. Essendon 3 4, 22. The name of the game is Australia. Point lead. Somerville and Madden doing the ruck work. Madden wins it down to Gleeson. Up towards Powell. Couldn't take it cleanly. Grenvold intercepts, paddles the ball towards safety, towards the boundary line. Alvin has shepherded out for a moment and it gives him a bit of breathing space to Ola Renshaw. Up towards the centre wing and Mark McCurry. Through him it goes. Ridley there also. And with Christo, it's over the line. Paul Hill starting this second quarter on the bench, still with Michael Long going to the wing on Mill Hanna, who was quite destructive in that first quarter. Half-back line and that centre line of Carlton, very good. The bottom of that pack is Fraser Brown, but have a look at them. They're like seagulls on a leftover lunch. Is that a free kick against Bradley for leaning into the back of something? Well, he was trying to say he was being pulled <laughs> to the ground. Oh, dear, what a situation for the umpire to try and make a decision on. There's a free kick uh, for Carlton going to Madden, who's doing quite well. Short kick, Williams... Carlton need to get a lot more from Greg Williams. 
He really is a generator around the centre of the ground. That kick towards full forward. Kernahan's forced to punch from behind. Bradley up high. No mark taken. Oof. Williams goes through. Now a chance for Scholl. He received, but the kick was smothered. Michael Long, he's caught. Gets the handball away. Denham quickly. Wide. Out there is Matten. He slips. Somerville's a chance. The ball will beat him. He taps it back. No, it was over, maybe. The boundary umpire right on the spot there. I think maybe the ball was kept in by Peter Somerville and eventually taken over by Ricky Ollenshaw. Madden grabs the arm of Somerville. Bleason leaves it behind. In there is Mercury. Tries to force it forward. Hannah now a push. Essendon free kick. And Greg Williams. Well, I think you're a bit hard on him, Robbo. Actually, he's had seven touches in that first quarter and two of them resulted in goals. So we do have a very high expectation of that bloke. Mercury's kick to full forward. Up high was Silvani. Put his arm on the shoulder of Salmon. He's appealing. But not much you can do. The umpire's made the decision. The free kick goes to Salmon. He's kicked one goal. Buick has kicked two. Yes, and that's that grey area. The players are saying that I'm actually have my eyes on the football. I'm going for the, the ball. And if I infringe, then the rule, which is a newer one, which I don't particularly like, says that it should be play on. And that's what Silvani was questioning with the umpire. Well, Salmon with the football. He's about 40 metres out. Difficult angle. Good kick. Great kick by Salmon's a goal. He's now kicked two. And Essendon back in front by just one point. Well, it really was nip and tuck in that first quarter. We see this free again. I mean, it was a nothing free kick, really. Silvani's saying, as I mentioned, that he had his eyes on the footy for the spoil. But the goal results. And they're the decisions, but because Australian rules has a grey area, it's your interpretation against mine or the umpires, and they can all be very different. The Bombers by a point. Somerville gets underneath it. It wasn't a pretty bounce. Bradley caught one a little high. He plays straight onto Williams. He may use the left foot this time. In towards Kernahan. He recovers quicker than Danner, but Wanganeen's at the back. Seen over the line, courtesy of Tom Alvin. Yes, and Kernahan there, he, I remember him saying at Sportsworld a few weeks ago that he has a lot of trouble playing at night. Well, he started off pretty well, but he just lost sight of the ball then. It wasn't kicked that high either. Well, he contests, trying to flick it out the back. Brent Heaver looks pretty good. Heaver gets his first and his 42nd for the season. Carlton again answer. And that's the support that Kernahan needs in that forward area, which Heaver has given throughout the year. Terrific roving, spot on, textbook stuff, and a favourable bounce. Well, it's a great tussle here in the first night final. Scholl goes down, play goes on, Hannah having a real impact. Handball for Gleeson, back to Hannah, got himself a little bit of space, kicked in short, too high for Heaver. Chance again for Heaver. Falls over. Got the football. And he's going to get the free kick. The goal. That could be nearly 50 oh. metres. He's got 50, I think. Yes. An indiscretion there by Kelthorpe. He's going to take the ball right up to the goal line, nearly. Well, Roscoe wasn't there. Well, there was an indiscretion there. You're right. And that's, again, the grey area with his 50-metre penalties at worth 50 metres. Here we see Heaver over the shoulder, definitely a free kick. As we see an interchange there, Denham off, and there's the push. And Heaver kicks the goal, he's kicked his second. Brink Heaver, a very important goal scorer for the Blues. Carlton 6-3, lead Essendon 4-4. Four, four. Yes, and Denham, who's had the job on Williams, is off the ground. Simons is on, he's gone to a half-forward line, being picked up by Ratton. There's the free kick. And there's the 50. From the middle once again. Trying to steal it was Mark McCurry. Carlton have opened up an 11-point lead. Essendon need to answer. Long gives it off to Danaher, who goes up towards Salmon. Silvani is with him. McKay and Hogg there also. And Hogg concedes it behind. 
They're just losing sway in the centre, Essendon, because they, they've been a bit negative. Hills has come off. Now they've had to play player on player. They've got no one that's running free and being creative. Williams is on top, and Bradley's on top as well. Nine effective scoring shots apiece. Carlton leads by 10 points. Sexton couldn't quite get a second grab at it. Comes out the back door to Chris Danaher. Cal thought would dearly love to make amends. I don't know what he tripped over, but it was something. Ratton's kick is high towards the centre, and O'Donnell takes the mark. Harvey over the middle once more. Williams not quite able to get to Mercury in time. Long goes up towards full forward. Kick it is there, so two is seven, but that's an excellent mark by Silvani. The last line of defence. He drifts it to half back, and the Duke of Earl takes it off to Ratton. Carlton solid. To half forward they go. It spills free. Brown is told to go on with it. Fraser Brown may kick a goal. It wobbles across the face, and it did come back, but not enough. And the one behind was the end result to Fraser Brown. Good to see Steve Silvani backing himself from full back there, just following the flight of the footy. And then Earl Sporting taking that mark on the 50 metre line at centre half back. And that's why they're giving Steve Kernaghan room. Again, the margin is 11 points. So Lorenshaw is tucked in the back pocket for the Bombers. He goes up towards the half back line. A good mark taken by Shaw. 70 metres out. The players flying everywhere with offerings. Kernaghan. Is he good lord? It's a flat looking kick. To the mark almost taken. And Essendon at the moment. I think it was close and Sandy. Needing to watch their step very, very carefully. Carlton attacking, leading by 11 points. In their forward zone once more. Bradley couldn't take it cleanly. McCurry sweeps it wide to Olerenshaw. He goes very, very wide and turned to Somerville, who has a look up at the umpire. He gets a nod in the affirmative. He was very relieved. Some of all the football at left half back. Kicks the ball in towards the centre of the ground. No mark taken. Long leaves it for Simons, who's come onto the ground. Michael Simons, short kick. Good, good, good. So, Salmon. Well, I think that's an important move. I think uh, Simons is a very exciting player and certainly sets up a few plays for the Bombers. Yeah, good pace and a great grab for a player of his size. Just lacks a bit sometimes with his disposal, but this time it was good. Well, Salmon has kicked two goals, and he's had three kicks, and he'll be kicking here from 40 metres directly in front. Bit of a stutter. High kick, holds up, looks close. Three goals to Salmon, and a very important kickback there by the Bombers. They trail 5-5 to 6-4. Yes, and Kevin sheedy has been looking for the right combination. He's had players on and off the ground, and Simon's the latest player to come on, having spent the first quarter on the bench, and his first touch, a very important one. Margin is back to five points. Madman, some of all are wrestling in the middle. It's a line ball, gentlemen. Who will have the psychological victory and take it away? Now, come on. <laughs> oh, the umpire looking more like a school teacher. Still in the centre. Oh, they should just bounce the ball. Again, it's some of all and Madden. Look at Williams. Read it magnificently and kicked to the half forward line. Wang the need now must defend for Essendon. He does so with great skill. Off to Danaher, who sweeps it up towards half back and his brother. The Danaher boys combine. They've got it over centre wing towards Michael Long. He's like a piece of elastic, this boy. Oh, it wasn't a good hand pass, but he's got time to recover. Well done. In towards the pocket. Salmon's got to make ground. Silvani is with him. The kick was too wide. That's what doesn't have to do. They have to be prepared to run off half back like the Danaher brothers did. They had a long had run right across from the other side of the ground away from Hannah to create something. Salmon to do the rack work with Matt Somerville coming over the back. Danaher and Hannah both there. The ball spills free. Sexton a chance to Silvani. Carlton out of trouble once again. At the moment, they've got the answers. Hogs on the end of the heaver hand pass. Up towards Small End. Big mark by Big Earl. 
Off to Williams. Well done, Greenfield. That's gutsy stuff. Committed himself. He went to the mark, but got the free kick. Well played. Fine work. He finds McCurry, who wanted to go on with it to Izard, but now goes a little further ahead to Summer. He in turn made look for Izard. Better be quick. He gets his kick just before Alvin meets him. But McKay marks. And the Lucendale wall buyer shows dash as he goes up towards half forward. Danaher runs into Gleeson. The ball spills free. It comes to Harvey. He pumps it high to half forward. Buick shepherded it out. McKay in front once again. Buick recovers well. Needs help. Gets it from Ridley. Goes wide looking for kick it. He's got to beat a couple. McKay should tidy up for Carl. And McKay does. He probably could have held that football. The option not all that good. Buick tackled by Hobb. In comes McKay. Free kick to Darren Buick. Hobb not happy, but certainly I doubted whether Buick had control of the football. Buick is well outside scoring distance, I would think. He kicks it to the 10 metre square. Salmon gets rid of Silvani. And Silvani will take the free kick. Welsh is on for Carlton. Uh, I should say, do, uh, no, it's Welsh it is. I've got Rowan Welsh and Alvin, the player, to come off. Short kick. Silvani finds Sexton at left half back. Good kick by that player towards the centre of the ground where Madden marks. He's looking to give it off. He does to Welsh. Welsh's kick high at the back. Williams, good mark. Excellent mark taken by Mercury. Williams. Six kicks, four handballs. I'm not critical, Ross. I just think that he needs to get up around 40 possessions a game. Kick by Hogg. Ridley taken by Chris Du. Oh, one-handed hand pass. He was lucky. Here goes Greg Williams. Must set this up. He's kicked looking for Kernahan. Punched away by Harvey. Looks as though he's got the job back there now. Izard sweeps it away. Kicks it out near the wing. The race is on Kelthorpe and Bradley. Kelthorpe's handball. Bradley stands his ground. Watson slipped over. Bradley, lovely hand pass. Set it up for Hannah. Hannah has a look. Kicks in towards centre half forward. Punched away by Harvey. Welsh has a chance. Runs onto it. Kicks off. Very ordinary kick. For shocking disposal. And that turnover make be costly. Wangani up towards half forward. Free kick to Essendon to be taken by Ridley. Ridley is just forward of the centre. Between centre and centre half forward. And Chris Du appealing as though. He'd done no interfering, but Ridley has the free. He kicks into the left forward pocket region. Too high for Salmon. He's got a chance. Kick it. Tackle. Got the football. Appealing for the free kick. Umpire says, I'll now bounce it. 35 metres from Essendon's goal as Derek kick it. Appealing look, appealingly looks at Peter Carey. Won't change his mind. Carlton lead by five points halfway through the second term. One gets the feeling this game's gone up a notch just in the last couple of minutes. Real sense of urgency. A ratten's kick around his body is good to Fraser Brown. Spent some time on the bench, Brown. Sexton he gives it away again to Scholl, who kicks it high up towards uh, centre wing. Over the head of Gleeson. Harvey was the spoiler. Powell got it away to Gleeson, who kicks it high to half forward. Carlton inside 50 towards Welsh. Grenville runs away from him, however. David Grenville does well. Off to the outer wing he goes, and Ricky Olerenshaw on centre wing. Comes into half forward for Danaher and kick it. They're both there. It's Williams who reads the crumbs beautifully. Look at that hand pass. 30 metres to Craig Bradley. He pumps it long in towards Kernahan and Danaher. Powell is there also. Tucked in the pocket. He bends it round. And he's kicked an amazing goal. The Blues are hot. 7-4 plays 5-5. Yes, quite right, Robbo. Robbo's just showing me the ledger is now square. Buick and Powell for a similar goal. But what about the telling handball from Williams? Terrific stuff there. And Bradley bombed it long as you should when you have a target like Kernahan. Danaher has actually stayed on Kernahan. We thought they may have changed. Freak goal. Well, I think Tim Powell may remember that in days to come. Gleeson brilliantly away to Hannah. He gets past Oliver Inshaw. Hannah goes long towards goal. It drops in short at centre half forward. Kernahan gets rid of his opponent. Williams tries to get the handball to Kernahan. 
Good play, Wanganeen. Brilliant play, Wanganeen. He was confronted. He stood up and he got the ball out towards centre wing. Now the race is on between Powell and Chris Danaher. Powell's little kick, not too bad. Shoal gathers, gets his kick away. Across his body, not far enough. Mark taken by Izard, who's picking up quite a few possessions across that half-back line. Eight kicks, one hand pass. Ellen Izard recalled from the reserves. Kick to the wing, punched away by Madden. Shoal and Ola Renshaw see the ball over as Derek Kickett comes off the ground to be replaced by Paul Hills. Yes, Andrew McKay's done very well on Kickett. Boundary throw in is at right half forward for Carlton. It's two kicks from their goal. Madden and Salmon, rebounds for Salmon. Chris Danaher, now Mercury, has a good look. Kicks in towards centre half forward. Mark, good one, Watson. Out in front of Sexton. Handball away, Long. Long goes for the square. Back up there is Somerville and Silvani. Silvani with eyes for the football. Oh, spectacular play. A handball back to McKay. And Silvani has set it up. McKay kicks towards the wing. Williams, handball over the top. Productive again. Gleeson gets past. Kick it quickly, he does. In towards full forward. Kernahan on his chest. A brilliant mark. Can he score from here? With his height, Robbo, he marks that ball like that so very well. He takes it on his chest when a lot of players would have to take it almost above their head. He gets up and makes it very difficult for the fullback to spoil. From 50 metres, he kicks long, but he kicks inaccurately. First blemish for the captain for the evening, four goals one. Blues lead by 12 points. And I'd also say that, uh, has it a guess, that Kernahan would try and mark the ball like that, particularly at night, because his vision to take it in front of his face with his hands isn't quite as sharp as it is during the day because of his contact lenses. Sean Denham and Kickett both on the bench for the Bombers. Odon eventually opts for Gavin Wanganeen, still tucked in the back pocket. They had an interesting confrontation with... Steve Kernahan only minutes ago. Grenvold will go back to Wanganeen. It's a little dangerous, but he should get out of trouble. Sweeps it wide to Izard, who wants to go back to him. But perhaps they won't get out of trouble. Wanganeen is still going, working his heart out. Well done. Off to O'Donnell. Now long towards Ricky Olerenshaw. But he's beaten. Gee, that's a great effort by Ratton. He, was it, and he wasn't going to get there, and he no. tried to spoil, and the ball followed him. Good stuff. Fine mark. As he goes back towards centre wing, towards Spalding and Harvey. It's the latter who belts it towards the boundary line. Sandy, I'm sure the viewers watching that set up from the back pocket. O'Donnell holding the ball, Wanganeen, Grenvold, and eventually it gets out to the far wing where they have Long out in the open. Wasn't yep, that fantastic, yep. the way they did that? Well, they've got to do more of it, too, if they're going to stay with Carlton. Blues of... Uh, Made a very exciting start in this first half. McKay having to do the work from behind, but he's got support from Hannah, who twisted beautifully out of trouble. They're looking good. As Ratton kicks it high up towards Kernahan once again. Couldn't complete the mark on this occasion. Wanganeen is there. Kernahan goes over the top of him. Comes out in front of Williams. Gets clear. Welsh sweeping it high towards Gleeson. He may run out of room. So a throw in. Left half forward flank. Paul Salmon, seem to be favouring an arm, but well, they can ill afford to lose him. Big punch by Anthony Danaher, O'Donnell in a little bit of trouble, goes for the boundary line. It's not far enough though, Heaver off the ground, went out on the full. And O'Donnell does well in the finish, because he went after to try and retrieve his position, and now has the free kick at right half back. Kick in short, well done by Simons, leading down the ground and has marked on his chest. It's still in Carlton's forward half. Simons may get it out of that area now. A wobbly kick in towards the centre of the ground. No mark taken. Mercury, football underneath, gets it out. Buick loves to run with it. He's going to back himself. He'll have a go. Darren Buick, little left foot kick. Is that Mark? <laughs> Calthorpe. <laughs> it was a tenner for seven. But how far did it go? Uh, just far enough, said the umpire. Correct. <laughs> 11 metres. Oh, goodness me. Well, Calthorpe now, he's going to have to kick the ball 50 metres plus. The man standing on the markers 
probably about 46 metres from goal. And Kelthorpe bombs away, gets to the goal line. It's helped over by big Justin Madden. A behind to Essendon. Derek Kickett down there. I'm sure he would have received some instructions from Kevin Sheedy. Short kick mark taken by Chris Du. His kick goes up towards the wing. Gleeson does well. Oh, Ooh. some good solid bumps in there. Spalding away to Heaver. He loves to run with the football and kicks it in towards full forward at the back. Kernahan couldn't quite take the mark. Handball for Powell. Powell looking, looking. Kernahan caught in the back, was it? Against Hills, maybe? Yes, it Gee, was. could have been a little bit fortunate. Well, he was fortunate. The handball shouldn't have come back to Kernahan from Powell, but he did infringe in the back, Robbo. I mean, it's the degree of the infringement, but it was there. There it is. I mean, you can't push in the back. So, Kernahan. Lovely long kick to the goal line. It's a mark, I think, to Welch. No, it's not. It's a score to One behind. Great work by Gleeson on the wing here. He copped a great hip and shoulder from Harvey. Got up and kept running. Good stuff by that play. Just under five minutes remaining. Harvey, again, tucked in the back pocket. Bombers looking to set something up again. He's uh, taking the chip, still on half back. Drifts it up towards Hills. Uh, not centre wing, but uh, he's beaten it again. And it's over the line. Unless all those kicks are precise, Ross, it's got to break down eventually. That's right. It? Very little margin for error. Madden and Somerville. And Harry Madden wins it. But it's Hills who takes it away into Long. Now look at him move. Michael Long, through the centre he goes. He sprints to half forward. It's a poor kick. Silvani should clear. He tidies up. Runs away from Salmon. Gets caught by Ollerenshaw. The ball spills free. Silvani could have got a free kick after Salmon went into him. But again, the umpire says no. I'll have it. Six times now, Sandy. Essen have taken the ball forward for a setup pass either to Salmon or kick it. And it's carried that player. It happened again there with Long. Those kicks have to be spot on when you work so hard to get the ball up there. Oh, Lorenzo. Advantage is paid to Buick. And Buick has kicked a vital goal. His third for the Bombers, and they stay in touch. That's a sharp decision, that is. It really does make you think. The umpire had everyone flat-footed. Just here it is again. No, we just missed it. Buick obviously playing on there. Oof, just sucked that ball in too. I thought it missed the first yes. time round. <laughs> Williams takes the ball out of the air. Brown misses long. He's cut, got on top of Hannah. Chris Danaher kicks Essendon into attack once again. Salmon and Silvani. Ball at the back. Hogg under pressure. Attempted kick off the ground. Nearly suicidal. Ola Renshaw and Simons. Watson. Free kick. Essendon's free kick. Simons. Groover, Robert Hulk should not have tried to kick off the ground like that. Tap it in front of you with your hand, try and control it. And if you get near goal and you're under pressure, tap it and concede a point. That's just too risky. And here's his free kick. It was definitely there against Mackay. Two Simons. Well, Simons has a chance to level the scores. Two and three quarter minutes left. Simons goes for goal. Umpire goes across. Goal. to the left-hand goal post, and you just have to wait, but Michael Simons has kicked his first goal. Yes, here's the free kick once more. Here's this little effort here by Hogg. Gee, it's tough, that. You've got to try and play the percentages. Free kick there, and while that was happening, the two Clement, former Clement players interchange. Kick it, he's back on, and Ridley is off. So scores are level here at the MCG in the qualifying final. Bradley belts it out of the middle. Simons gets him, but he gets his kick. It's high towards half foot. Oh, look at Wagony! This boy is one of the most exciting players in the league. He gives it to Harvey, who's off to kick it. Back on the ground, Derek Kickett. They'll be looking for a big lift from him. Hills, suddenly Essendon, drawing their way back into this game. Simon! 
not paid. Play on was the call. Silvani towards the boundary line. McKay will get there just in time. Oloran draws on him, so he sneaks it up another 10 or 15 metres. And we'll have a throw in. Be, be interesting to see that again, Sandy, the mark of uh, Salmon as we see Wanganeen once more. But he got a mark in the first quarter, the very few minutes to kick his first goal, Salmon, that was paid. I wonder if that one should have been paid as well. Sensational grab by Wanganeen. Kick it. Well, he had it, then he lost it. The McKay comes right across the ground. Hannah and Long. Long has had the better of Hannah in recent times. And not on this occasion. Well done. Off to Ratton, up towards centre wing. Gleeson is there, couldn't take it. O'Donnell for the Bombers. He's got Wanganeen if he needs him. He wants to set something up. Oh, it's cat and mouse. Wanganeen eventually marks, but he's still on the defensive side of the centre wing. Just over a minute remaining. Olorenchor has it in the middle. Essendon steady. Into half forward. Oh, Salmon was taken out of it by Silvani. Bomber supporters not happy. The whistle has sounded, and it's going to be a card and free kick for holding. What did you think, Roscoe? Anything in it? I didn't, well, in that free kick or the Salmon one? The Salmon one. No, nothing in Salmon's. Spalding. Perhaps Carlton could take advantage of it. Bradley and Calthorpe. The latter wins it to Harvey. But he's under pressure too. Free kick. And he'll take a free kick on half back. And probably uttered a few words of encouragement for Earl Spalding playing his 150th game. Earl having a look at the umpire. <laughs> but the ball is with Mark Harvey at left half back. Just seconds left. So maybe we've got a uh, an all tied up game here at half time in the qualifying final. Bradley gathers, kicks it a long half forward. Harvey and Spalding gatherers by Powell. Gives away a little bit of ground to Williams. Williams with seconds left. They must take a mark to Blues. No, they can't. Kernahan out into the path of Welsh. Snapshot. No. Siren. Scores are level at half time of the qualifying final. And what a struggle it's been. Twice in that quarter, the Blues got away to a 12-point advantage, and twice the Bombers kicked back to level the scores at halftime. The name of the game is Australia. Well, we've got 75,000 fans all set for the second half. Scores are level. The winner through to the second semi, Williams starts Carlton out of the middle. Up towards left half forward, Wanganeen will be first to it. Pushing it along in front. Could have been held, and he's going to get a free kick. On half back, Kevin Wanganeen. Kick number six coming up. He's taken a couple of wonderful grabs. Goes to centre wing, and Somerville marks uncontested. As they warm up for this second half. Up towards right half forward, uh, Ricky Olorenshaw. Kick it lurking in the forward line. So to Salmon. So to Watson. Kick it spent time on the bench. Here's Watson trying to find Salmon, who in turn finds Danaher. He keeps it back in play, only to see Sexton take it. The Blues maintain control. Just outside 50 they go. If Essendon get the first goal, it'll be a real team lifter after their fast finishing second quarter. Silvani's in trouble, loses the football and asks the question with McKay. Kick it's on the bottom. And a bounce will be the result. I thought they might have been in trouble there, Carlton. Three players flew for the footy. And their three immediate opponents stayed on the ground. 35 metres out from the Bombers scoring zone. Who wants it? Who can pick it up? Long to Hills. He'll have to hoist it high. He does. Into the square they go. Silvani! Couldn't take the back. Second up the ground by McCurry. The Bombers lead by six points. Well, Steve Silvani seems set for that mark. He went for a lead. I wonder if he might have been able to just stay on the ground and keep his feet and take it a little more comfortably on his chest. But he's the better judge of that down there on the ground. It was a very high kick from Hills, who's a player who doesn't need to get back into this game. And we see here the fly from Silvani. And the ball's going free and well read there by McCurry. Gee, that's an important opening goal in this quarter. Yeah, well, Stephen Silvani would be uh, feeling a little bit sorry about that. But anyway, the goal's on the scoreboard to Carlton. Here's Hills again. Gets the handball away. O'Donnell. Then to Harvey. Harvey quickly to left half forward. Ola Renshaw gets rid of Christou. 
He's still in there with a chance. Ricky Oller in short. Chris Du nearly into his back. And Pio Coates giving both players a chance to move the football on. And eventually goes over for a boundary throwing quite near the players interchange area down in front of the commentary box. And very interested spectators at the first night final. Matt tries to get it down. Kelthorpe was a chance. Hills. Little left foot kick was important. Bradley for Scholl. Tackle. Tackle. Kick off the ground by Bradley. Mark taken by Christou. Greenvold took him to the ground. Lucky he didn't get 50. Christou with the football just forward of the wing. Swings onto that left foot. Kicks it in the Kernahan direction. Punched away by Anthony Danaher. Spalding puts his posterior out. Wanganin tidies up. Away goes Long. Long's little kick. Chris Danaher, good mark. Gleason a little late. Chris Danaher, sweeping hand pass. Away goes Long from half back. Lovely hand pass into the middle of the round. Here goes Mercury. He went one way, then went short. Kick it. Derek kick it 40 metres from goal. Will have a shot for Essendon. Well played, Essendon. They're prepared to take a few risks now. They're running off half back very well. And the delivery there on that occasion, they've been a little bit poor early in the first quarter. Kicks going over the head of the leading forward. This time, very good. Kick it. Loves to kick these big goals. Gets good distance. Misses to the left. Exciting player, Derek Kickett. But he's only had four possessions so far this evening. Mark Harvey receiving some attention after... Uh... Ran into Earl Spaulding. But, uh, back to the action. And now Alvin under pressure with Sexton. Under real pressure. Buick shows him a bit of the football, then loses it. They're not out of it yet. Ola Renshaw, 48 metres out, in towards Seven! Well done, Ricky Ola Renshaw. His opening few minutes of this quarter just went outstanding. He had a very good first half. Well, gee, 14 and 1 and 8 marks has been very good for a player of his age in his first final. Called Salmon has kicked three. Two of those in the second quarter. From point blank range. 45 degree angle. Salmon for goal and he kicks it. Called Salmon gets number four. And Essendon are putting up their hand and saying, catch us if you can. Yes, and catch us physically too, Sandy. Their run has been much better in this opening part of the third quarter. Their preparedness to run, as I said earlier, particularly off half-back, run through the lines, and their delivery has been better. It's been more concise, and goals have resulted. There's a margin of 13 points and it favours Essendon. The Blues badly want the next goal. Bradley working hard at the bottom. Working very hard. Sandy Carlton kicked their last goal, which was their seventh goal, at the 16-minute mark of the second quarter. Well, they, Long time between drinks. They need the next one, don't they? Very important. With the, the Bombers sneaking away to a 13-point lead. Bradley does the ruck work. He was the one that worked hard in the middle. Hannah gets a cool bounce. Some of all. The big man gets clear. Pumps it up towards Ola Renshaw once again. Can't mark it. Ratton is there. Over the top he goes. Simons also. Alvin asks the question. And it's a ball up. And the other question I'd like to ask is uh, the player Hannah playing on the wing had a lot of the football. And Michael Long moving on to him in the second term. He had eight kicks and four hand passes, Millam Hannah. And by gee, hasn't had many since the middle part of the second term. Here's Essendon again through Ola Renshaw. A high kick. And a good safe mark taken by Sexton. Yeah, free kick though going uh, against Kick it for holding on to Silvani, I think it is. Yep. Oh, yeah. no, going back to Sexton. Well, did he pay the, the mark or well, was it actually, a free he was kick? He paying the free kick first up, which seemed a bit odd. OK, still got the football anyway, Sexton. And he kicks it wide where Alvin marks. Trying to move it on quickly. He's got players on centre wing. Brown. And he takes a good mark in the finish. Michael Simons applying a little bit of pressure, but Fraser Brown, his kick along the wing. Spalding, good mark. I mentioned again that he was very prominent in the first term, getting the ball down to Kernahan quickly. He's kicking towards the forward pocket area. And a mark, not paid. Powell, 
A little tap on. No, Hills has got the football close to the line. It goes over. So Essendon's defence is holding up. Carlton still to add to their half-time score as Terry Danaher, coach of the Wagga Tigers <laughs> and former Essendon champion. Madden wins the fist. But straight to O'Donnell, want to get onto the left foot. No, he decides to sweep it wide. This is Hills. Round onto the right boot. He's 80 metres out. Centering kick. Salmon's got the height, but he's not in front. Kick it to the back. He'll give it away to Watson, who should go. Oh, the Bubbers catch us if he can. In the end, it was elementary for dear Watson. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Sexton, a bit stiff here, did very well to back back in the pack there, but just the run of kicking the reading the play and Watson, clever stuff. He hasn't had many touches, Tim Watson, but by gee, that's an important one. It's his first goal. Biggest margin in the game now, 19 points in favour of Essendon. They get another one, by gee, they'll be very hard to catch. Ola Rinchor has been absolutely superb in this third quarter. Here he goes after the football. And Alvin there putting pressure on. Still not too many smiles coming from Kevin Sheedy and his men. I wouldn't think you'd have much to smile about until the siren sounds. Chris Danaher can't get through. Greg Williams, little hand pass for Matt. Ooh, kick off the ground. Reasonably effective, but a good mark taken by Harvey. Bit of a dust up there between Calthorpe and Bradley. Maybe Bradley showing the frustrations. Essendon go on with the game. Grenvold straight towards goal. Drops in short. Mark taken by Sexton. Handball away. Not quite what it was desired to do, but Silvani runs away from full back. Sweeping hand pass. Williams. Now Hannah gets into the play. And he kicks long in towards full forward. Kernahan. He's got it. Got rid of Anthony Danaher and took the mark. He's going to kick to the goal square. It's allowed, and the mark is taken by Powell. I really had a look at the umpire then to see if he'd blown time on with Stephen Kernahan's mark, but he gave the all clear, and Powell has it, what, about 12 metres out directly in front, and he just has to kick this goal. He kicks, and he's kicked his second. So the Blues hit back momentarily. They still trail by 13 points. Yes, yeah, such an important goal, though. And top marks at the back line there. Silvani, Sexton just reading the play nicely, gave it off, and then Silvani took himself around the outside. I thought Simons had him in the tackle, but he managed to break away. And then Hanna, a very important kick, has had his colours lowered in this last quarter and a half to Michael Long. Got his very first important touch for this quarter, Mill Hanna. Some of them. All he uses Madden for step ladder. McCurry pumps Essendon deep into their attacking zone. And in front, taking a strong mark as Sexton. He's done very well, Sexton. Watson started well in the first 10 minutes. He's picked him up since then. Gives it to Alvin. Hannah gets a cruel bounce. He keeps going. But look at Long. On him. All the time. On the 50 with Sexton and Salmon on all fours. Paul Salmon working hard. That's Andrew Cavadon, the uh, yep. young Carlton player in the crowd there. Salmon and Madden. Gleeson takes it. Kick it over the top. McKay too strong. Been a down defender since crossing over from Glenelg, and he's done well. Off to Silvani. Over centre wing he goes. Power marks. Carlton now steady. This is a game and a half. Kerner hands his man. Not to be. Yes. I thought for a moment that he didn't take it on that second attempt. <laughs> but well, he did. Well done against Steve Silvani. His kick had to be good when he found Powell, and it was. He was prepared to run off knowing that Sam was caught up in the ruck, thrown on the other side. One, two. I thought Brattles may have stolen it. No, Kernahan has it. There's no one in the square. Ready for Justin Madden to get back there, Sandy. Yep. Now he heads for home and will bend a little from left to right. Spalding was the flyer in game number 150. The end result is a behind. Ridley coming back onto the ground for kick it once more. 
Bradley Plain, who was uh, in action in the reserves earlier tonight. This is Wanganeen, tucked in the back pocket. Low, a real worm burner that was meant for Danaher. Williams tried soccer tactics, they didn't work. McCurry does well on Brown. Gleeson now is going to get a free kick for a push. So Carlton to surge forward again. Adrian Gleeson looks up towards his skipper's territory. With him is Danaher. Held it at the bottom. But it was okay. Izard sweeps it wide towards Calthorpe. Saw Hannah coming, so did the next best thing. Got boot to ball and pushed it wide towards centre wing where Michael Long is. Continuing soccer tactics by the Bombers. That was Simons. Now Christo. Look at Grenville. Umpire lets it go. Would you have let it go, Orozco? Well, look to be holding on from here, Sandy. Kick it on the interchange bench Larry for Essendon. Boundary throw in left half forward for the Blues. Spalding doing the ruck work. Chris Danaher there. Tackled by Brown. Dispossessed. Chance for Brown again. He goes in hard. So does Mercury. Umpire calls for a bounce. Fraser Brown appealing for some sort of favour. Yeah, free kick against Danaher, I think, there, Bravo. Chris Danaher, that is, for a throw. Ruck contest. Spalding. Harvey gets it. Williams a chance. Tries to get it to Hannah. Got the football. Got clear. Sweeping hand pass out into the path of Gleeson. Still a chance for the Blues. Heaver got it to Spalding somehow. Spalding from 50 metres. Kicks to the goal front. Kernahan's got it again. He's playing a lone hand for the Blues up at full forward. He's kicked four. And surely this must be his fifth goal. Well, played, well played Greg Williams too to control the footy on the flank. And then Heaver to come in and commit himself to knock the ball out to Spalding. Well, what a great performance by Kernahan. He's kicked five, the Blues have kicked nine, and the difference is back to just six points. Yes, yeah, so and the Blues' desperation this last three or four minutes. There's that tap on from Heaver I mentioned, and Sporting had to go long, and this class here of Kernahan, just outstanding. But their commitment to the footy, realising their game was getting away from them in the last ten minutes, because of Essendon surging forward, has been much better. Nighttime entertainment doesn't come much better than this. Six points the margin as the Blues now fight back. Madden out of the centre towards Fraser Brown. In fact, a little too far for him. His immediate opponent is O'Donnell. Kick partly smothered. We'll go back towards Brown. Down towards Christo. On to the left foot. It's high, but they're inside 50. Kernahan comes charging out. Could have almost given away a free kick. But no, Watson has it. Tried to paddle it towards O'Donnell. Danger period here for Essendon as Wanganeen gives a little ground towards Danaher. He shrugs the tackle, comes up towards half-back and finds Hills. Did well there, the Bombers, to get out. Yeah, Watson's back. Ridley's gone to the forward line, been picked up by McKay. Hills into the middle. Sexton was there but couldn't take the mark. Brent Heaver goes long up towards Kernahan territory once again. It's a cruel bounce. Wanganeen at the back. Gets caught. Fine tackle by Powell. Watson now combines with Hills. Again, the defence is tested. They come away to the outer side. He's out up to Buick. The Red Rovers, they combine. Look at Buick. Two bounces, he's across centre. Three and he's down to half forward. A chip up towards Long. 60 metres out. Michael Long tries for another one. It's Ridley. Ridley gives it away again towards Orenshaw. He loses the free football, kick but he's going to get a free kick because he was held at the umpire. Yes, Tommy Elwood held on too long and threw him across the boundary line. The ball went relatively disposed of. He goes short and Mark McCurry, who goaled earlier in this quarter. And what an exciting goal it was as he socketed it through. Here it is, Elwood. This is his free kick against Oliver and Shaw. Just kept on attacking him. McCurry to the booze of the Carlton fans from 40 metres. It's going to be very close. I think he's kicked it. McCurry has his second. And Essendon steady. 11-7. Plays 9-7. It's a very steady goal from the young fellow. He and Oliver and Shaw have been very good. McCurry's had the job on Williams. McCurry's two goals in this quarter have been telling. 
Here's his free once more. It's a definite free kick. Did well too on a short of play on. And the bounce back in the centre. Madden, Bradley, hand pass, Brown. Kick by Brown to full forward. No mark taken. Watson is there to tidy up. The experience, Wanganeen, just fumbles. And the ball goes over for a throw in. Pressure now on the Essendon defence. The ball in the left forward pocket for the Blues. Kernahan, the ball comes to the front. Gleeson, snapshot, wide, very wide, out of bounds on the full free kick to Essendon. Yes, you can see that from here, Robert. The way he put the ball in the boot, he knew straight away that it wasn't accurate. Wanganoon, seven kicks and nine hand passes. Goes to the outer side. Oh, Simons was the flyer, but he couldn't take the mark. What a leap. Long and Hannah, the two number 13s. And the Carlton number 13 has given away the free kick. The advantage is paid as Ezad finds Ola Renshaw. What a quarter this young man has had. Kick number 18. Into half forward. Did Silvani push? He may have, but he took a fine mark, and that's what the umpire saw. An excellent mark as he defends back oh. towards the centre. Oh, it's all bombers. Ola Renshaw picks it up, gives it to Long. He has a look up to half forward. No one at home for Carlton. And Ridley takes the ball unopposed, 60 metres out. He wastes no time. It's a high drop putt, giving Salmon a chance. Also, there is Scholl. He belts it dangerously towards goal. Finishes with Silvani. Gets a short kick. Only to the 50 metre line, to Hills, who centres it, back towards half forward and Harvey. Harvey's hand pass is intercepted. Hogg, on half back, tumbles it up towards centre wing. Grenville did it with the one hand, it wasn't enough. Now Carlton has the chance. Powell's kick up towards right half forward. Kernahan chasing, may run out of room, and Danaher sees it over the line. Oh, this is a tight contest, it's a beauty. Steve Kernahan's had a magnificent night so far. He's booted five, but his side trailed by a couple of kicks. Boundary throw in right on the 50 metre line. Watson handball. McHughy combines with Hills. Hills with some good Ooh. footwork. A high kick into the centre. No mark taken by Wanganeen, but he's going to get a free kick. Pushed out of the contest. And a critical possession there for Essendon. Wanganeen runs across the 50 metre line. Spalding the chaser. Wanganeen's kick, well out of trouble. McKay at the back of Izar has taken the mark and held up that promising Essendon attack. He's kicking to the centre. The mark has been taken by Heaver. Carlton need a goal from this surge forward. It goes in the Kernahan direction. And he's got it again, the captain. Well, Ian Collins went on record halfway through this year by saying that this man is the best captain Carlton has ever had. Big statement when you consider that they've had some terrific leaders over the years. Here he goes for goal number six. Long kick, a brilliant kick, is a goal. So the Blues hang in there. They had trouble shaking Essendon in the second quarter. The Bombers are having trouble shaking the Blues in the third term. Yes, Andrew McKay, the player just on screen there, who took the mark over Ezo, has been very steady all night. And the kick here from Heaver had to be a good one, and Kernahan, well, did that to be a good mark, and it was. And what about his kick? The most important kick of the night, straight through. Carlton go charging forward again through Bradley. Oh, look at Kernahan! No mark. Kick is high. In towards goal, which way will it bounce? Away from goal. It was Brent Heaver who charged them into attack with that high ball. And eventually, it's over the line. So a throw in on right half forward. Of course, if scores uh, continue to be locked up when the final siren sounds, we'll play on two five-minute halves. There cannot be a draw in this game. If that continues, we'll do it again. So we could be here for some time, who knows? But it's top entertainment. And it's all coming your way on seven sport. Danaher and Kernahan. Kernahan wins it, but McCurry will give it to Buick. He tumbles a punt up towards the middle. The two number 13s, Hannah and Long. And Orenshaw there also. This time it goes the way of Hannah for holding. Gee, there are a couple of talented players, these two. What a duel. Alvin 
Tommy Alvin just forward of centre. 70 metres out. Floats a kick up towards half forward. Wanganeen in trouble. Could be costly. Heaver. So he'll take the free kick. He played it well, Heaver. It was a very loss. It was a very quick tackle. Wanganeen backed himself. So he should have it. Then Heaver just knew that he was going to be under pressure. It's the second time he's got a free kick like that. We have under a minute remaining in this quarter. And he's got this kick to tie the scores up. Yes, that was a well-played piece of play by Heber. Brent Heber, 30 metres out. Scores are tied up. Three goals to Heber. This game has been incredible. One way, the other way, the other way, and now back level. And you blokes wanted to jump off 10 minutes into the third quarter. And at half time. Here it is again. Well played by Heaver. How did you detect that we wanted to jump off? <laughs> so this huge crowd roaring. The Carlton hierarchy look on with under a minute remaining. Can anyone get a score to break the deadlock? Williams, if anyone can, he can send Carlton deep into attack. It's a high ball. Watson gets fist to it. Socket off the ground by Spalding. Don't tell me Heaver's going to do it again. Oh, you'll be gone, Brent, my boy. Now he's got a free kick for a push. Oh, dear me. I good thought he set over it. Yeah, but good decision. You can't push in the back. It was the same as a free kick earlier on. The other end of the ground, you've got to keep out of people's backs. Siren. There it is again. Now, the siren has sounded. It's three-quarter time. This to give Carlton the lead going into the final term. It's going to be close. He's done it again. Two quick goals to Brent Heaver. He's now got four. And Carlton, after looking down the barrel midway through the third quarter, have a six-point lead going into the final turn. 12-7-79 leading Essendon. 11-7-73. a sensational finish to the third term. Who will be the steadier in the crisis? Shaw sees it socket out of his hands. Watson could have been held. The umpire said no. McCurry tries to get through without success. Simon's in over the top, asks the question, but the umpire says no. Significant point in that third quarter, Sandy. Carlton were down 19 points at the 12 minute mark and from there on in they kick five goals to one. And Essendon so far have had something like, what, Robbo, 30 more possessions? Yes, 24 more possessions. Yep. Williams gets one for Carl. Towards Fraser Brown and McKay showing dash. Calthorpe tries to stop it. It's right in the middle of the MCG. Spooned out towards Gleeson. Look at the pressure. Simons. Like a hot potato as he scooped it out the back door. Ratton took it. Kicks up towards half forward. Two bombers collide. It could prove costly. Bradley picks it up. Set sail for home. Marked on the very last line of defence. Here's Wanganeen and Harvey. Wanganeen wanting to fly at the top of Harvey. What about Bradley? Could have just taken that to the goal line nearly. Made a certainty of it. The kick in. And the mark is taken by Scholl. So the urgency is certainly with the Blues at the start of the last term. As Ross has already mentioned, they made a tremendous surge at the end of the third quarter. That kick into the goal square. Oh, dumped as Heaver. The play goes on. Ball comes out for Harvey. Has a look down the ground. No one really to kick to. He's got to go in short. Long and Elvin. Long brilliantly. Gets it to Mercury. Gives away a little bit of ground. Back to Harvey. Harvey's kick. Mark taken by Long. He's played on. He kicks it in short, into the centre. Taken by Denham, he's caught by Williams. Important tackle. Again, Simons shrugged the tackle, and that was important. Centre half forward, Salmon punched away by Silvani. Buick drops it, goes after it again. Look at that! Oh, it's hit the post. And Darren Buick's face says it all. Plays 12-7. Silvani 
Had a couple of options. Picks out Sexton. He leaves half back and drifts it over centre wing. But Christie comes out. Marks on the chest unopposed. Floating kick towards Spalding on half forward. Harvey belts it away from him for the moment. Look at the tackling of Heaver. The ball spills free towards Gleeson. Off to Madden from a standing start. Big Harry Madden pumps it down towards full forward. Danaher and Kernahan. Who's going to have the recovery? On this occasion, it is the Essendon player. But they trail at the moment as McCurry kicks up towards centre. Oh, what a mark by Simon. Great battle this. 50 metres if he's not careful. He's yes, got 50. It's a 50. Yep. So Ratton is going to have to watch Simons move all the way down to the ground as Williams runs into long. Another 50. Well, that's going to give them a goal. That's the first 100 I've seen. That's going to take them from half back right to the square. You know, that's interesting. Andrew Coates was in charge, but the senior umpire made the first decision, and then Peter Carey gave the other 50 metres. So Simons is going to finish up shooting from probably 25 metres out. He always likes a fairly long run-up, this young man. Well, some nerves. may suggest it was justice. Some may say nerves, yes. These who can't believe it, the end result is a behind. 11-9, plays 12-7. Four points the margin. Mill Hanna from the back pocket. Goes up towards centre wing, Ola Renshaw had a magnificent third quarter. This time, however, it's Gleeson who takes it. He stabs towards Kernahan. Wanganin cut across, couldn't take it cleanly. Fraser Brown, 50 metres out. An interesting hand pass. They've still got possession, though, the Blues. On half forward, Spalding to Williams. Diesel Williams clear, 48 metres. Look at that kick. Oh. That's a magnificent kick. He saw Gleeson play of the night. And great shepherd by Christo too to keep Grenvold out of it terrific stuff so this could well give Carlton a 10 point lead and Williams up to 27 possessions well he must have heard you he shoots towards goal and Carlton leads by 10 points well Adrian Gleeson as we see Greg Williams on screen just missed last week last minute replacement with a saw back has had a bad game tonight just nine and seven he's been looked after by a couple of players but Williams here his vision was fantastic saw Gleeson and there's the shepherd there by Christian just got in the way sufficiently to retard Grenville and the kick with the left foot much was better terrific. than the right yes yeah. Yeah. you've made your point bounce back in the center Somerville very early oh Williams goes crashing through makes a path for Bradley Kernahan can't take the mark had the run Still got a chance. Good gather. Off the right foot. Kicks to the front of the square. And Gleeson's got it again. What a brilliant kick by Turnahan. The Blues fans are sensing something. Gleeson can kick his second goal within two minutes. Deliberate. He kicks it through. Well, it's his second attempt at a final series, Greg Williams. He had a couple of goes with the Swans in 86 87. Here he goes, just saw the gap straight through. Bradley, I thought Kunan might have grabbed this. Perfectly set, and then Spalding working hard here. Made some room for Kernahan, and the great kick to find Gleason, who snuck away again. Away from Denham, who was miles away. Well, the Blues looked in trouble when they trailed by 19 points. All of a sudden, they lead by 16 points. There's the bounce in the middle. Well, it's not a good one. Hills towards Calthorpe. The Bombers need the next goal, otherwise they're in desperate trouble. Watson couldn't complete the mark. Kick it applies a smother. Simons is there also. McKay takes the steady hand pass. Goes out wide in front of Scholl. And he's more than happy. To see an amble over the line. And Sexton, I think the player was in that came through the pack to get the ball clear. He's done very well since the early part that I mentioned before that Watson gave him some trouble. His game's been terrific since then. 
in Essendon's attacking zone. Hannah takes it from Matt. He's steady, Mill Hannah. Spalding takes the mark. They're running on Carlton. Fraser Brown to half forward. But a good mark once again taken by Gavin Wanganine. He'll keep going to the bitter end. Ridley to Mercury. He's under pressure. Look at the tackle of Williams. Sensational. They've lost it. And there's another fine tackle. Through the arms of Brown. Back to Ridley. Almost threw it out to O'Donnell. Wanganine. Bradley there with him. It's a hot potato now. Calthorpe looking to do the shepherding for Hills. He eventually gets a kick. It's high towards Kickett. McKay comes over the top and belts it clear. The next goal is vital towards Watson and Kickett. The latter trying to push it forward to the 50-metre line. He does so now. Watson gets clear. 30 metres out to Watson. Eastman remain in the hunt. Second goal to Tim Watson. Well, you just stand here and admire both sides, sit here as we are, some are standing. It's just fantastic football. It's just a, a great advertisement for such a great game. There's been tackling, running, kick, goals. I mean, you name it, it's been there. Players have committed themselves. The ball's bounced awkwardly. It's just been a great spectacle. Well, a terrific effort by the veteran, Timmy Watson. He made a comeback this year after spending 12 months in a seat alongside us. Madden gets the tap out. Gleeson a chance. Can't break clear. Ezard's got him. Oh. Did he have the football? Umpire call play on. If Goodness he had man. control of that. You'll go he. Well, you just asked the question. <laughs> Adrian Gleeson not arguing. Getting on with the game. Chris Danaher. Brian Wood there in the foreground. The Essendon runner. Still the game to be won by either side. Carlton with the advantage at the moment. They lead by 10 points. Chris Du quickly onto his boot. Mark the cut. I think a lot of people would have questioned whether he would have been a good player for the Blues after coming over from Richmond. But Ross, if he kicks this, three goals in a qualifying final, certainly a credit to him. Yeah, quite right, Robert. Tim Powell from 30 metres out. Ordinary kick, doesn't get the distance. Mark taken by Anthony Danaher. Just over 17 minutes remaining, so there's plenty of time for Essendon to get up if they're good enough. 81 plays 91. We nip and tuck all night. Somerville on the chest, uncontested. Lopes away to McCurry. Shows Gleeson a bit of the football, then goes for a centre kick. That's a poor delivery. That's where they've fallen down, said it. He's been known across half forward to kick to. That's why he went in short. Bradley. Goes over the centre. Penetrating kick. Kernahan. Gleeson off hands. Is this the quick reply by Adrian Gleeson? Gonna be close. I think it's there. Ridley Mark. Oh, he's paid the mark on the very last line of defence. Oh, gee, there was nothing in that. Kick's gonna drop short, however. Now Scholl will have another shot. Ross, is there anything to say about the conditions in evening football, about the ball wobbling and dropping short? Is Not really, Robo, no. The ball does... There's this mark here again by Ridley, which was terrific. It was a great kick by Gleeson, but Robo, no, it does tend to just get a bit greasy, that's all. Here's Scholl. Into the square he goes. Spalding was there. Kernahan is there. And the skipper has seen it over for one behind. And some of the players, when they were questioned about night football, mentioned about the yellow ball, too. Any drama there? Not no. from my point, no. Right, fair enough. 11 points the margin. Shoal over the top, and he belts it down. Only as far as Mark Harvey, who pumps it back, and there's no one at home. Shoal again. Almost picked him out. Wanted Christo. Not going to find him. Ridley is there. Simon's off Sandy for Essendon, and Chris Danaher back on. 15 minutes left in the game. Carlton lead by 11 points. The bounce is affected just in Carlton's forward half. Madden, Brown, goes behind Mercury. Chris Du, still there to be one. Ezard, was it? Got it out somehow. Chance for Alvin, overruns it. Hannah. Oh, how did he get rid of that? How did he get rid of that? Bradley's a chance. From a standing position. Gets good distance. 
Still can't no chance. Kernahan for Spalding. Spalding's kick has been marked by Grenfell. This is magnificent football. Grenfell's kick. No mark taken. Ezar on centre wing. Nearly run down. Chased by Kernahan. Gets his kick away. Hannah, the ball at the back. Still under pressure, the Blues defence. Holding up. Well done by McKay. Gleeson and Ezar. Ezar gets it out to Mercury. Over the top, Buick. No, it doesn't come off. Hawk, grab it, son. He does. And he streams away from the wing. He's kicking in the centre of the ground. Mark is taken by Williams. This will be a setup. Watch this. The architect of brilliant football gives it to Brent Heaver. And he misses. What an anticlimax. Great shepherd up on the flank here by Sexton. He's done some terrific work. Hannah's got on top of Oliver Shaw. And, and uh, Tommy Alvin has also, if you look at uh, Oliver Shaw here with a thumb, I think, or a finger, Tommy Alvin's got on top of Michael Long too, and that third quarter is very damaging, and that does hurt there. That's better. Two straight kicks in it. Danaher in the back pocket. It's Christopher. We're called to the seniors. Some of them. Marks on the defensive side of a centre wing. Gives it away to Darren Buick. Buick goes over the middle. And a good mark taken by Ridley. Oliver Shaw off with that uh, problem with his left hand. Simon's back on. Todd Ridley. Long kick towards Salmon. Silvani. Sensational. He's done a good job. He goes short to Ratton. Brett Ratton is at centre half back. Away he goes to Bradley and does the shepherding. Bradley's got pace and dash. He goes over the middle, out towards Kernan on the half volley. This could result in a goal to Angelo. Yes! Christo gets his first, but more importantly for Carlton, it gives them. A very handy three-goal break. And it's very interesting, the two look alike. Silvani at one end of the ground taking a terrific mark. And it ends up with his look alike. Christo at the other end, who kicks a goal. And deserving one from back to front. Well played. That magnificent play by Stephen Silvani. And also two players near the centre of the ground. It was Bradley who forced it forward. The Blues get it up to centre half forward again. A free kick. Spalding's ball. Earl Spalding will kick Carlton to within scoring distance. He looks for Kernahan. Couldn't take the mark. Chris Du and Chris Danaher. Chris Danaher goes to the safety of the boundary line. Carlton fans expecting maybe a free kick. Ola Renshaw's in trouble on the boundary line. Peter McKenna. Yes, Robbo. Ricky Ola Renshaw, Ola Renshaw, I should say, has dislocated his finger, but he's OK now. Yes, thank you, Pete. Well, the Bombers now have the job ahead of them. Well done, Gleeson. Yes, well Desperate done indeed. Stuff. Bring it in, run into trouble. Gleeson stole it. Some of his tackling tonight's been terrific. I mean, his effort, having been picked up uh, by a couple of players to run away from them, not big stats for him, but to you, they've been important ones. And he has also kicked two very important goals. He's got the recall into this side at the expense of McCormack and has done well. To send a wing, Ratton pushing it along in front, runs into Michael Long. Long is a piece of elastic, he just bounces off. Look at him go! I said he was a piece of elastic. Towards full forward, Silvani marks Savage in trouble behind play. It could be a hamstring. Or did he just slip? Well, look at this on the far side. He's not well. Salmon is gone. And they're going to set this up. Hogg. Williams has it on centre wing. Look at Hogg. Loose. Shoal. Poor kick, but they've got it inside 50. Brent Heavers kicked a couple of telling goals. He gets caught. Gives the hand pass away to Powell. 46 metres out. Powell kicks in towards full forward. Chris Dew again. He's very close. Can't take it, and it's O'Donnell who gets the hand pass away, and Mark Harvey steadies. Mercury as Salmon leaves the ground. Now the Bombers in real strike. Kick it. He marks between centre and half forward. Oliver Renshaw 
with a dislocated finger. That's been put back in place. He's back out on the ground. The Watson lead is ignored. Kick it might go for home here. If he gets onto one, it'll go close. 60 metres. It's not far enough. Silvani head front spot. Simons at the back. Can't keep it in play. And a throw in with a crowd of 79,139. Paul Salmon heartbroken at having to leave the arena. It's in their scoring zone, however. They desperately need a goal. The Blues will be happy just to get it out. Gleason off to Bradley. Craig Bradley, full of run. Goes up towards centre wing. Williams and McCurry, the two number twos. It's a bad bounce for both. Williams recovers after Spalding tapped it on. Fraser Brown moves down the ground. He's got it up to 50. Wanganeen. He's one of the most courageous boys playing the game. And he takes them up. And just for a little bit of how do you do, gets rid of Stephen Kernahan. They've been niggling a bit all night, yes. particularly in the first quarter. Well, they're teammates when the South Australian State of Origin team is picked. He's kicked towards the wing, taken by Izar. He's going to run away with the football, no one chasing. He's kicked into the pocket. Out comes Sexton. Brilliant, he blocked it. Now Ridley in trouble. Handball Watson. Can he get another one? He goes for goal. It's a brilliant kick to the square. No mark taken. Ball rebounds. Low. Ooh. Is it out of bounds or is it a behind? It's a behind to isn't it? Again, a great effort there by McKay. Just had to back himself. Kick it was more concerned about where McKay was in the footy. I thought McKay might have got a free kick there. 17 points. Carlton's advantage. Silvani takes the risk again. And Hogg marks in front of Simons. He's at centre half back. It's just under nine minutes remaining. So there's time enough if the Bombers are good enough. We saw Carlton boot three in three minutes in the closing stages of the third quarter. Bradley trying to create a path for McKay. Combines with Spalding to give it back to Bradley. Poor kick out. Drops short. Mercury from half back drifts it up to the wing. Up towards Kickett, who's got to produce something special. Mark's going to be paid. He's 60 metres out. It was a free kick and a finish for being held. Yeah, it could have been. Heaver's in trouble behind play. But will stay with Kickett. 65 metres out. He wanted to torp again and again. He didn't quite get onto it at the back. It dribbles over the line for one behind. Heaver could have done a finger, as did uh, Ricky Ola Renshaw, but he appears to be okay. Well, Mark free kick. He got the football. Sexton has it. And Sexton is between the back pocket and right half back. He kicks it well out near the wing. Marking contest in front. No, O'Donnell grabs it. Kicks it high in the air. Probably one of Gary O'Donnell's less effective touches. The ball there, now Ola Renshaw. Gets it out to Michael Long. This is an important kick. Michael Long, Simons is marked on the goal line. Well, he could have nearly shepherded it through, but he's going to make a certainty of it now and bring the margin back to 10 points. I well, see what sort of an angle he's put on. Have a look at this. That is tough. Well, As you said, Robert, you can sometimes shepherd. He's going to play on. He gets the goal anyway. Well done. Simons kicks his second goal. And it was quite efficiently done in the finish. The difference is just 10 points. Michael Long there was the, the player who got the ball set up there. Around the flank there. He's been well checked in this last 40 minutes by Alvin. But a good mark here. Perhaps could have shared, but if you're never too sure there, always best, particularly in a final, to make sure. Back in the middle. The Bombers may be conquered, but they certainly will not capitulate. They go forward once again. There's time enough. Ridley gets a bad bounce. Kick it also. But he recovers Derek Kick it. Shows them a bit of the footy. Then chips it up towards Ola Renshaw. Couldn't take the mark. Oh, the Ola gets free kick it. Yeah. for holding. So all of a sudden, the Bombers breathing new life. Ola Renshaw. He's going to be kicking from 45 metres on a 45 degree angle. He wastes no time. It's a flat looking kick. No one able to take it. And one behind is the result. 
Kevin Sheedy in the bomber hierarchy. Look on. Six and a half minutes and counting down. Good kick. Hannah. Chance to run here for Big Mill. There's the centre wing. Danaher in front of Christo. Couldn't take the mark. Bradley may get an opportunity. He does as he wobbles it up to half forward. Somerville dropped what perhaps he should have taken. Williams may make him pay. Oh, what a man by Wingerty! That is just quite sensational. Gives it to Grenville and he finds Ezar. He also stumbled. Heaver may make him pay. He gives it to Madden. Justin Madden's kick up towards full forward. No one at home. And again, it's Wanganin and Dano. Oh, Sandy's terrific, this kid. Been fantastic. That mark just a minute or so ago. Set it all. Simon's over the line on the other side. He's, uh, he I think he's the most exciting youngster in the game just about at the moment. Should never have taken that mark, should he? <laughs> he shouldn't. Look at that. I mean, Mark Taylor can't take slips catches like that. Boundary throw in just forward of the wing in Carlton's attacking half. Ezard bashes it forward. No one home there for uh, Essendon. Ratton tries to get it clear successfully. Hannah will kick it in towards the full forward area. Looking for Christou. Can't take the mark. Can he recover? Bradley can. Christou taps it on. Heaver. Bradley. The hand pass was too far, but Bradley made something of it. Tried to get it to Powell. Turn ahead over his shoulder and Wanganin will take another mark. My golly, Wanganin kicks it out towards the wing. Simons and Elvin. Elvin makes a contest of it. Kicks it off the ground. Have a guess who's got it. Gavin Wanganin. Magnificent last five or six minutes. Ridley. Hannah's got him. He got the hand pass away. Hills is very, very tired. Extremely so. And he's still got the footy and he forces it over. We're down to four minutes. And Hills comes straight off and Calthorpe on. Williams off for Carlton and uh, Diulio, uh, Diulio it is. On for, I think, his first run. Yes. Started the game. But yes, spent, he's had a kick, yes. Spent uh, most of the game on the bench. And he's getting right into it, Ronnie Diulio, down to half forward. Ready to see Harvey take the mark. The Blues lead by nine points. Three and a half minutes remaining. Oh. oh, this could be costly. Calthorpe heads for home. Which way will it bounce? Sexton. Sees it behind. Oh, there's a few spectators when Calthorpe took that mark. About ten players all standing around saying, well, my man's covered. I'm not going for the footy. The margin now is eight points. McKay. He can be very proud of his first AFL final. He was struggling at Glenelg not so long ago. The Clark's boarding important position. The Duke of Earl is on centre wing. Goes up towards Kernahan. Wonderful use of the body. That's exactly how he likes it. He's under three minutes remaining now. I think the skipper can start the field slightly confident and maybe a little more so after that well-directed kick finds Tim Powell. Perhaps uh, the Essendon bench may tell a story as well. Now, this young man has kicked two telling goals. He's going to be kicking from probably 40 metres on a 45-degree angle. This could seal it for the Blues. Just shaves it on the wrong side. One behind, two minutes to go. The Bombers have got to get a wriggle on if they're going to go straight through to the second semi. And I think this game is very important. Whoever wins this is going to have a real chance in the Premiership uh, quest. Yeah, the team that plays the least number of games in finals, Robert, always has the best chance. No question of that. Alan Izzard has the football. One minute 43 left. He's at left half back. And he plays on. He's got to take a risk if they're to win the game. And he does. Kicks it across that area. The bounce is very important here. It was Oliver Inshaw over the top to Grenville. Grenville on centre wing. He's got to play a loose. It's Michael Long. Essendon are not done with yet. He carries the football. Then kicks it into the goal square. Marking contest. Silvani's got it. Gives it away to Kelthorpe. And Kelthorpe misses to the right-hand side. And that may be Essendon's chance. If he could have kicked the goal there, take it back to the centre. A 
One kick the difference and then anything can happen. The difference is eight points in favour of the Blues. Silvani has been absolutely magnificent. Back there at fullback. Salmon kick four. But Stephen Silvani has stood up grandly. Scholl making a lead. Goes out in that direction. But Sexton has jumped in front. He's been very good too, Robbo. He'll kick it well out of the danger area. Out towards centre wing. Spalding at the back. No mark taken. Chance for Scholl. Brown tried to get it clear of O'Donnell. O'Donnell still working very, very hard. Kick off the ground by Alan Renshaw. Could have been on the full, was it? It is. No, it's not. It's a boundary throw. And it may have gone out before Ricky Olerenshaw could get his foot to it. And a boundary throw will take place. Seconds ticking away now. Matt bashes it back towards the boundary line. But Olerenshaw is there. And the kick has been marked by Holt. Surely the older heads will tell this young man to steady it up. Matthew Holt goes long out towards the wing. Martin contest. Madden can't take it. Somerville was at the back. Denham. Bob is still not done with. Harvey kicks it to the goal front. Markey contest here. Ridley couldn't take it. Watson kicks the goal. Timmy Watson's kicked his third goal. And by G, this has been a game that everyone will remember. The side was sounded. The Blues have gone home by two points. And ladies and gentlemen, don't ever miss this. Well, it's the best game I've seen. I mean, a lot of people say this, Sandy, but it's the best game of football I have seen. The game ebbed and flowed from go to woe. One side got on top, certain players got on top, their opponents lifted, got it back, drew it square. They got in front, Carlton to be 19 points down at the 12 minute mark for the third to kick five to one. It was just outstanding. Williams under pressure. McKay was just great. I mean, you could go through every team, both teams, not every team, both teams. I mean, I'm excited, but I'm just so wrapped. You can see such a great game of football as such a spectacle and advertisement for our game, which we need, and the history-making night final.